I am Zane Olson. Hi, I'm Kevin Lutman with Ion Films Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to do uh, quite a simple effect, something that uh, you see in pretty much all action films. Uh, what you can see here on the screen is this is Kevin, and uh, he's going to get shot. So yeah, uh, that's basically uh, is basically the effect. What we have is a couple of layers of blood from Action Essentials 2. We have a bullet hole from Action Essentials 2, dust, and uh, some blood splats, as well as a custom bullet hole that's right here. Now, this might not look great right now, especially in the paused, uh, paused part or in slow motion, but it just adds a little bit of the effect of being shot. And as you can see back here, the bullet goes through, and then you have on um, both sides, and then down here, obviously, is the blood. So, let's get started. We're at, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find our footage, which is right here, and drag it into a new comp. From here, we're going to identify where we want the shots to take place, or when. So right here looks good, right the first, second twitch. And take the timeline to star, or the marker. Bring it right over there, and now we know when uh, we're gonna start the event. Now Kevin uh, pulls his shoulder back as if he's getting shot, and they kind of stumble. So what we're gonna do is right there we're gonna hit N to trim the comp down. We're gonna right click, and we're gonna trim comp to work area. That way we work with this area. Um, might want to cut some off the beginning too. So, now what, the, basically, in any action sequence, you want to get to the action. You don't want any, you don't want too many frames. This is enough to establish him getting shot. So, we're going to start with the blood itself. Now, this is blood 5 from Action Essentials 2. We're going to drag that out on top, and we're going to take a look at it. So, we're going to go over here to here, where the blood shot, or the, where the shot actually takes place and yeah so that's basically that's a blood shot now as you can see it goes really slowly so what you're gonna wanna do is right click and go to time and time stretch that to about 60 percent 60 percent works good on some of them might not work all the time um, this one's a little slow I'm gonna try a different a different uh, blood squirt. Let's see, that one's that was nice. I like that one. That one's good. Um, yeah. Time stretch that one to sixty, and at about sixty, and press OK. So now it's uh, much faster, kind of explosive, a little too fast maybe. So let's bring that up to a seventy-five. That's a lot of tweaking. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Now let's go ahead and reverse this. Good. And now what we're going to want to do before we do anything else to the blood is create a new null object and rename that tracking data. Now this null object is going to hold all the tracking data for our first plane. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to select our movie layer, go over here to track motion and hit rotation. We w we don't want to do scale because it will just take extra long because uh, we don't move the camera back and forth so it shouldn't really matter anyway. I'm going to record this, uh, or I'm going to pick this spatula down here, bring the search area down because we don't move that much, and the lid to this pepper jar. And I'm going to go analyze forward and it's going to find all that and then I'm gonna edit the target to make sure that tracking data is selected okay and we're gonna hit, hit apply that okay so now what we have is this null object right here moves within the scene so what we can do now is we can find out where this blood is going to make impact a little big perhaps you don't want it too big. That can uh, ruin a lot of effects for you. Now, I know that there's a pretty hard edge here, and we're going to fix that later, but don't have to worry about it right now. So, going to go to here. When he gets shot, 
and go to the first frame and just find where the impact takes place. So right about here. This will work good because we can um, manually track the bullet hole to this logo on his sweater. So that looks pretty good. And then what we're going to want to do is go to the first frame that the blood takes place and take this pick whip here and select the tracking data. <laughs> As you can see here, it's subtle, but the blood actually moves with the uh, null object. You can see it over here. The spot here moves with it. So basically this is what we have so far. Now uh, that kind of that doesn't look really good. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take a second blood layer which is blood layer 14 and we're going to place that over top of that. And we're going to bring down wait for this to load first. Oh whoops. And what we're going to do is we're going to take blood layer 14 and go to time and time stretch it out to 60%. Now, not quite fast enough. Let me see what this one is. So, not quite fast enough. So I'm gonna bring it down to 50%, and that will probably work. Remember that, um, you know, fact that they are, remember they're in slow motion because like I've done complete masks before, taking like a lot of time, and then just to find out that, uh, well, it didn't work because it was uh, too slow so you know make sure you recognize that first okay and this is gonna go I actually want 14 to go underneath a 6 and I want it to be narrower this is kind of like the null or like kinda like this the spray so that's gonna it's a little bit too narrow and too long so, as long as we have kind of a uh, a good starting point, because we're going to narrow it down later with a mask after we pre-compose the blood. So it's still a little bit too slow. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it right down to thirty. Oh wait, that's still a little bit too slow. Darn it! <laughs> it's still a little bit too slow. So I'm gonna bring it down to thirty percent. And we're gonna see that. Okay, that looks pretty good. A little problem here with this section right here is that uh, the blood kind of gets exposed there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a mask and draw just a little little mask around there. Hit M. When this is selected, turn that mask to subtract. Then you're going to hit F and feather it up to about 8 or 5. 5 pixels will probably work just fine. And then all that's gone. So that's good. Now what we're going to do is, because there's sort of a harsh edge, is we're going to make a little bit of a point. And this is when I hand it over to Kevin. Okay, so now what we're going to do is not make the blood have such a harsh edge on me. So we're going to select both of the... Um, blood layers, we're going to go layer, pre-compose, or control shift C, and uh, we'll call this blood, okay so now that we have both of our layers in one layer now, we can begin to do that, so we're going to find this point here, click on the blood layer, we're going to zoom in, and go to our pen tool. Now, what we want to create is not having like this big edge here, so I'm going to go here, here, something like uh, that. No, no, that won't work. And we're going to go to the mask and subtract. This will take a little tweaking, 